Howdy folks, how are you guys doing? This is Reese or Brashiat Cub. Welcome back to our Tech It Let's Play Adventure. We are still looking at the Balkans Weapons mod, and I've noticed that some of you guys aren't really enjoying this very much. And I am very sorry for that. A lot of you have just been complaining that this is just you're just looking at Balkans weapons. This is a spotlight. This is no longer a Tech It Let's Play. And I will agree with you, it, it is very different than what we've done in the past. But for those of you who don't know, Tech It Classic is pretty much dead, and this season is probably gonna be our last hurrah. And I have a lot of things planned for this season, but before we do any of those, I want to make sure that I look at every little dark corner of this mod that I've never looked at before. And part of that is the Belkin's Weapons mod. So we're going to have this episode and then probably one or two more after it looking at these mods. But I promise you, as soon as these are done, we'll be moving on to something else, something different. I'm sorry, but I I just, this kind of stuff fascinates me. You know, it's been in the game the whole time. I've just never looked at it. But anyway, this episode, we're going to be looking at blowguns and crossbows in the next episode. We're gonna do a good old-fashioned redneck episode with a, with a, a musket and a, a blunderbush, which is a shotgun. Uh, so it's 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 applicable to the to the southern regions. I own a shotgun, 12 gauge. Really funny story. <laughs> the first time we let my brother shoot it, he fell backwards. He's not gonna like me telling that story. I probably shouldn't have told it. Let's move on with uh, <laughs> what are we building first? Let's build a blowgun first. That sounds like fun. So, blowgun. Here we go. Very simple. We just need a bunch of sugar cane because that is how you build a blowgun in real life, I suppose, is sugar cane. I, I wouldn't really know. I've never done it before. There we go. We've got a blowgun, and now we need the blowgun darts, which is sort of weird. It's a stick, some cactus, and some feathers because this makes sense. Absolutely. So let's get half a stack of that. That'll be fun. Next up, let's build that crossbow. So, cross. There we go. And that's sort of an intricate. Let's see, do I have a bow? I don't think I do. Mm. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. I have two. No, don't go on the ground. Come back here. This is a. This is a very... I see how it works. All right, so you put the bow on the front there. We need more iron. Uh, Dershkberg. We need more iron. Iron, iron, iron. There we go. Get ourselves a block of iron and get some iron out of it. There we go. And I think I can follow the recipe from here once I get more wood. Oh, I wish I'd paid more attention to this. All right. There we go. And we have ourselves a crossbow, and now we need crossbow bolts, of course. Which is a feather and an iron ingot. So iron ingot and feather. There we go, we got half a stack of those as well. Let's go hunting, shall we? So let's see. Let's actually do that part where we read about the, the thing first before we go out there and try to use it. Let's do that. So the blowgun. Shoots quickly and accurately. Has a small reload time. It shoots blowgun darts, which are poisonous. Oh, cool! This means that when you hit a mob, he becomes ill. If a mob is ill, it will get damage over time. It has a small chance to heal from the illness. Uh, the poison will not kill the mob, but often the mob remains with half a heart left. The dart itself doesn't do much damage. Uh, to take it... To take it, put three... Oh, to make it. We don't need that. I don't know why I was saying to take it. Uh, mm. So, moving down to the crossbow, shoots further than a bow and doesn't deviate much, but the aim isn't as good as the musket. It reloads in one second, the same time as the blunderbuss, and faster than the musket, and does less damage than both. Okay. So, let's see. How to reload it, hold the right mouse button, and one hold the right, right mouse button. So, oh, it's loaded. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. How do I shoot it? Like that, like a bow. Fantastic. I'm ready for this. Let's let's go boss it up outside. I think it's daylight outside, isn't it? All right, that's fine. That that is that is okay. We we can we don't have to hunt bad guys. We we can find creepers. Creepers are bad guys. What are the odds that there aren't going to be any creepers around here? Very thin. There are always creepers creeping around. Let's see. The hour of the hunt is upon us. Come now, my brothers! Let us defeat our enemies! 
After we find them, where are they? Bad guys, found one. All right, bad guy. Coming at you. Here it comes, you ready for it? Oh, we hit him, sweet. <laughs> Honestly, didn't think that was gonna hit him. All right, reloading, all right, reloaded. Aiming. Yeah! Two shots, one kill, fantastic. All right, can we, oh, you know what? Let's arch the archer. That's that's the right term, right? Arch the archer. Yep, there we go. This is fun. <laughs> we are so pro, bro. You don't even know. Come here, creep. Oh, you know what? Let's harass the creeper with the blowgun. Oh, we have to load it as well. Oh, maybe we should hold it all the way back. We missed. Alright, he's coming right at us. There's no way we can miss this. <laughs> How is he doing there? He's... Alright, so a great weapon this may be. Not quite as useful if you're facing multiple enemies, I don't think. Because it does have kind of a reload time. <laughs> uh... So you can kind of see it's not... You don't, you, you definitely don't want to be doing that when you have like 20 guys on you. Blowgun on the other hand isn't too bad. You can kind of uh, hit him with it and keep running. You know, not worry about him anymore. Oh. Alrighty guys, you know what? These weapons are fun, but they're also extremely simple. I think we're going to go ahead and make the other two shootable weapons as well. Just because this didn't take half as long as I thought it would. Uh, out of these two, I'm going to have to say that the crossbow is my favorite because... It's just way more effective than the blowgun. The blowgun is it's good for kicks, you know, if that's what you're interested in. But it's really just not that effective. I mean, you want to kill the enemy. You don't want to slowly wait for them to die from poison. Unless you want to assassinate someone, in which case, hey, this is great, you know. But otherwise, no. No, that's, that's no. Let's head back and let's make the other two weapons. Alright, so first up, let's make the blunderbuss. So for that, we're going to need iron... Probably need to get more iron out of here just so we'll have it. We're going to need a flint and steel. So we're going to need some of this good stuff. Let's go ahead and grab all of it. And we're going to need some of this stuff here. There we go. All right, and this is just to build the blunderbuss barrel. So flint and gravel. Is the, This is... No, we need flint and steel. I don't know what I'm doing with the gravel. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Okay. Flint and steel. There we go. Some iron. Gives us our barrel for the blunderbuss. And then we combine that with a stock. How do I make a stock? Is it the same as the rifle stock? Let's see. The rifle stock. Let's go ahead and make two of them since I think it is the same. Yeah. It's two sticks and a piece of wood. We're going to need two of those. And then we combine the stock with the blunderbuss to get a blunderbuss. Check that out. And now we need the ammo. Need to make the ammo, which is gravel, gunpowder, and paper. Do we have any paper? We have some reeds. That'll do. Have some sugar cane. We'll make our own paper. It's three across the bottom, right? Yeah. Probably need more than three. There we go. Nine ought to do it. Yes! Blunderbuss shot. Make half a dozen of those. And now for the other weapon of choice here, the musket. We're going to need another flint and steel. There we go. And some more iron. There we go. That'll give us a musket. And actually, we can put a bayonet on the end of that if we want to. So if we make a knife, I wonder if I can use one of my diamond throwing knives. Let's see if that'll work. Seems like a waste of a diamond throwing knife. But if it works, it doesn't. No. Okay, it has to be an iron one, I guess. So one iron, one stick. This is a knife along with the, the musket. Boom! Musket with bayonet. Fantastic. So that'll... 
give it some close range abilities. So in case we can't get it reloaded, because it takes twice as long as the crossbow to reload. So just in case, we'll have that there. We also need to make some rounds for it. So just like the last recipe, except for this one uses iron instead of gravel. So half a dozen rounds. There we go. All right, we are set to go. So again, let's read up on these. So the blunderbuss... It's basically a shotgun. When fired, it shoots 10 small projectiles with a widespread. Don't hit walls. They'll bounce back and hit you. The closer you are, the more damage it does. Yada, yada, yada. Pretty basic stuff here. Musket. Shoots a musket round. And it has a weirder reload animation. So let's let's start off with the blunderbuss here. To reload it, you just hold down. There. It's reloaded. This, you hold down. And it clicks. And then it does it again. Now it's ready. Very weird. Very strange. All right. Still night time. So let's go see if we can... If we can take some mobs down with the this thing. Oh no, the sun is rising. All right, let's take down a spider. Good night. Good gravy. Did you see that? Oh man, he just blew that sucker right away. I can I can do this. This isn't considered racist toward rednecks because I am Texan, so I can do this. The rest of you can't do this. That would be racist. Don't do that. All right. Good lord! That is fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the Texan in me is having a blast with this thing. Alright, let's try the let's try the shotgun. Show me some enemies. I wanna I wanna try the shotgun here. Where where are the bad guys? Oh, come on, the sun is rising. Oh, give me a zombie or something. Here we go. Oh, it didn't didn't hurt him. Alright, so it take two shots, but I guess the thing on this is we do have a spread. We do have a little bit of a spread, so let's try it again. <laughs> oh, these are fun! Oh, this this is... Oh, I want this mod installed every time I play Minecraft now. Oh, that is just... That is fantastic! Oh, this is... This is just amazing! Oh, but of course, you know what... You know what we Texans really do with our shotguns. As we go, you know, bird hunting, squirrel hunting. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Even it even plucked the thing for me. This is fantastic. This is just this blows this blows crossbow out of the water. This is this is so much cooler than a crossbow. Look at this thing. Alright, let's try the musket again. It's gonna be a little bit harder with a chicken. Oh, there you go. So you don't normally hunt birds with a, a with a rifle type weapon because it only fires one shot. And birds are really small. If you shoot it with something like a shotgun, though, you get a nice spread, and it's more likely you're going to get it. So there you guys go, getting your, your redneck education with the Reese. Oh, these these guns are fantastic. Let's go get a sheep. Let's take a sheep down with the... Normally, you don't hunt sheep, but if you did, I would totally use a musket. <laughs> oh, I, I could just do this for hours. This is just... This is just awesome. Oh, I missed. All right, well, yeah, that's the problem. Oh, you know what? We haven't tried melee yet. Let's attack the spider with the tip of the tip of the gun. Oh, wow. Wow, so that is a very effective melee weapon, actually. That is pretty good. So if we got into a fight where there was more than one baddie, and we were trying to... Whoa, what is this? What the... Did you guys know this was here? I didn't know this was here. Check that out. Cool beans. Alrighty. Well, guys, thank you for watching this episode. This, of course, means that there is only one episode left of our spotlight to this mod. And we will be moving on to something else, something new, something fresh, something amazing that I hope you guys will also enjoy. Or if you haven't been enjoying this, that you will enjoy that instead. In the meantime, I will be leaving. I wish you all a fond farewell, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.